In the Mavericks' 104 to 101 victory over the Lakers on Wednesday, Rashawn Holmes played a bigger role than he had played all season in any particular game. He logged 23 minutes off the bench, scored four points, grabbed 10 boards, dished out an assist, and recorded a block. And this was an extra important performance with Derek Lively getting hurt during the middle of the game and not returning due to a low back contusion. And there were a lot of things that also didn't show in the box score that Holmes managed to provide the Mavs. And I'm going to take a look at all of it. Let's get into it. Holmes did an effective job of using Gortat screens throughout this game. He did it three total times, resulting in scoring opportunities for Doncic that he successfully completed. And on this first play, you know, after grabbing the defensive rebound and running the floor, Holmes gets into that, uh, you know, pick and roll sequence, but he slips the screen as Doncic is already breaking down Rui Hashimura out in space. And after getting behind Anthony Davis uh, with him needing to make his presence felt, you know, on Doncic's drive, Holmes makes contact with him at the top of the charge circle to seal him off with that Gortat screen. And then nobody's left in a position to impact Doncic's finish. And this is just an easy right-hand layup at the rim. As the game went on, the Lakers became aggressive, deploying Channel 5 ball screen coverage, which is a term the Mavs refer to as blitzing ball screens. And, you know, oftentimes as games kind of settle in, Doncic looks to exploit the weakest defender to bring them into the action. And in this instance, the Lakers try to have christian wood guarding dante exum so instead of having Holmes set the screen with anthony davis being put into the action Doncic directs traffic here tells him to go to the dunker spot and then directs dante exum to come up to set the screen and you know luca draws two as expected and then they just play out of the advantage with luca making that bounce pass to exum exum then attacks downhill against the rotating you know help at the nail and then throws a one-handed bounce pass on that live dribble look to Holmes at the dunker spot. And with Anthony Davis rotating over and being in a position with two feet in the charge circle, this isn't going to be a quality opportunity to look to score. So Holmes stays patient, draws the double from Torreon Prince, the low defender, and then this creates a passing opportunity to the corner for Tim Hardaway Jr. to get a good look, and the shot just doesn't fall. When trying to break aggressive defensive schemes, it's important to be able to trust a big to stay patient and make the right play, and that's exactly what Holmes did on this one. Rashawn Holmes made a lot of great hustle plays in this game, and after Dante Exum had missed this three with Jackson Hayes closing out, there are some important details to keep an eye on. Hayes felt the need to leak out in transition, assuming that his you know teammates were going to come up with the rebound and reward him for running the floor. Holmes made this pass before Exum fully got up from the floor, trusting that he was going to make the catch and attack downhill. And this created a situation where you know now Exum is going to be able to attack the out-of-rotation defense with Austin Reeves attempting to take a charge deep on the drive. Exum just finishes with a scoop finish using the glass with his right hand. Notice the personnel on the floor for both teams in this particular situation. The Mavericks had a smaller perimeter out on the floor with the Lakers having a jumbo lineup, which featured you know Christian Wood next to Anthony Davis with Rui Hashimura on the wing. And in this situation, Hashimura has an isolation, you know, clear out play against Josh Green as the primary defender. With the size disparity, Holmes has to be aware and cognizant of when to make the help rotation, knowing that it's going to have to come on an aggressive attack downhill. He does an effective job of getting vertical without making contact. He just gets his hands in the air and is prepared to deter the initial you know, finish attempt on the left side of the rim with Josh Green rounding off the drive, knowing that this is likely going to be a right-hand finish. Holmes just gets a hand on the ball with his hand being in a great position to make that pressure. Then the Mavs close the possession with the rebound. With the Lakers applying double teams often to Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving in this game, the Mavericks with the bench unit flowed into a zoom action on this play, and Holmes slips the screen knowing that that double's coming, and Irving you know, reads the low defender on this play knowing that there's going to be an open pass on a quick live dribble, one-hand wraparound pass to get it to Holmes, who then plays off of two as Hashimura makes that low defender rotation. 
you know, the timing is thrown off with Holmes playing off two feet, and this results in a foul and a trip to the free throw line. This was a very underrated defensive possession from not only the Mavs, but particularly from Holmes. He handles a switch against LeBron very effectively. He handles that initial drive right, play through contact, and then Josh Green provides great help at the nail. And at this point, the flow is disrupted for LeBron. Austin Reeves had already started to drift towards the corner in this instance. He's in the slot, and the ball is behind him on this catch. Josh Green is now able to handle him on an island with under five seconds left on the shot clock. And after that crossover is made, Green just flies at him, knowing that the shot's going to have to come and disrupts his rhythm. And this is just a completely broken play. It goes a long way when the big can be trusted to hold his own on an island, and that's exactly what Holmes did initially, which ended up delaying the Lakers into a bad possession late in the clock. Holmes did a great job of running the floor on this play after a failed attempt to grab an offensive rebound, and Anthony Davis tried to use brush contact to really disrupt both Grant Williams stopping the ball, handling LeBron James in semi-transition, while also trying to disrupt Holmes. In this situation, James tried to drive across the paint using that screen contact and try to finish the rim, but Holmes read this perfectly and left his feet as James was getting into a floater and was able to come up with a great contest, and James was unable to convert. Here was another example of Rashawn Holmes setting a Gortat screen deep on a ball screen drive for Doncic, and on this approach, the Lakers switched the screen, so it's Anthony Davis having to hold his own in space against Doncic. And as the switch occurs, Holmes does a great job of getting behind Torian Prince to be able to then seal him off, making that contact with the Gortat screen. And as you can see, this ends up causing Davis to just run completely into Prince. The two collide, and then Doncic is finishing a wide-open layup as that occurs. Holmes sets up another clean finish for Doncic at the rim, this time setting that Gortat screen after playing at a double drag. Anthony Davis isn't quite at the level, but he is playing up, so Holmes slips the screen to force him to have to get back and give a gap for Doncic to play out of. And with Prince reaching from behind after getting beat, Doncic plays out of essentially a little hostage dribble and gets the ball into his right hand, and he's navigating through traffic at this point. But as that happens, Holmes Holmes set up a perfect opportunity for Doncic to get to the right side of the rim with the Gortat screen, and this is just a wide-open finish at the end. This is a great defensive approach from Holmes against Anthony Davis in the post. He closes the gap by uh, getting into him and making contact with his hands, but not too much to get a foul call and he just gets vertical when he needs to, pressuring the release of Davis's shot, and the result is a miss. If you watch this video all the way through, I just want to thank you for taking the time to do so. Please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and all shares are appreciated. Thank you.